What is up, everybody? We're going to get about a couple more minutes to get started here. I finally learned how to live stream onto multiple platforms. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is my first live stream. If you're watching on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, oh, let's see. I'm, I'm just, listen, guys, I'm kind of a, I'm new to this whole thing of streaming. We'll get, we're going to get started with this in a minute this live show. Go ahead and give me a like, give me a share. This is Crypto and Coffee. Your morning jolt of financial markets, cryptocurrency, equities, commodities. We talk about it all. I am super excited to be doing this with you guys. This is my first ever live stream. So be sure, you know, uh, as, as time goes on, I'm sure people will be making comments, but if you want to talk about anything related to investing, so cryptocurrencies, stocks, bonds, commodities, oil, gold, silver, we talk about all of that here, the current economy. Um, I have been a, an investor since 2006. I got my start actually investing in gold and silver when I actually started learning how money really worked. Uh, and then in 2016, I bought my first Bitcoin. And after doing my own research and due diligence, I really realized that uh, digital assets like Bitcoin, they really are going to revolutionize uh, not only banking and finance, but many other industries. And so I've really dedicated my life since 2017 to uh, digital assets and helping people understand them, helping people invest in them uh, so that you can take advantage of this opportunity. Because I, I believe that in the next two to five years, there's going to be a radical shift in the world as we know it. And these technologies are going to replace the old system. And you have a very unique opportunity to invest in these technologies before the masses do. Because once the masses do, then you're gonna lose out on all that massive, massive return on investment. So again, welcome to Crypto and Coffee, the live show today. Today's Crypto and Coffee is sponsored by Beans and Brews in Salt Lake City, Utah. In fact, they have some in Idaho too. They're not really, sp <laughs> They're not really sponsoring us, but anybody out there in the internet knows of anybody at beans and brew let the brews it is plural i guess um be sure to let them know that i love their coffee and i'd love to get sponsored by them so let's go ahead and share the screen and jump right into this again uh this is my very first live stream so i'm, I'm kind of just trying to figure it all out on my own um, so definitely if you have, oh, what's up, grandma? I'm making you dinner tonight. Making you dinner tonight, my sweet, sweet grandma. Um, but anyways, if you have, if there's anything you want to talk about while we're doing this show, um, be sure to drop a comment or on Facebook. We're on Facebook. We're on LinkedIn. We're on, uh, uh, YouTube right now live. And if you're new to cryptocurrency, if you've heard about Bitcoin, if you're curious about it, you want to learn more, be sure to check out my website, galactictrust.com. Okay, again, since 2017, I've been helping people understand and invest in uh, these uh, digital assets. So be sure to go ahead and check that, check out my website, watch my webinar where I, I go through and I lay out in a very logical manner how you could turn a thousand dollars into a million dollars or more in the next two to five years. Two to five years. It's not a get rich quick scheme or anything like that. I've certainly dealt with a lot of get rich quick minded people in the past. And I really try to put that disclaimer out there right now. This is a long term game. This is not get rich quick. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't believe it in 100% because believe me, you, the last three years have been, oh my God. I mean, I can understand why, you know, stockbrokers jump out of windows. But anyways, so go ahead and check that out. And also grab a copy of my free book, Crypto Investor Secrets, How to Capitalize on the Greatest Investment Opportunity in History. You can get that at CryptoInvestorSecrets.com. Again, totally free. Check this out. 
Um, yeah, you got some testimonials from some good friends of mine. Check that out. But let's dive in. Diving into the cryptocurrency markets, Bitcoin up half a percent in the last 24 hours. Again, we're really fighting that $7,000 mark. This is a this is big uh, resistance. Uh, will we break out of it? Will we not? Only time will tell. Ethereum down half a percent at $169 and rounding out the top three XRP is flat at 18 cents. Okay, jumping in the charts. I am not, I'm not a day trader. I'm a long-term investor. I just simply use these charts to kind of understand where the energy is going. Is that it, There's only two constants. It's either going up or it's going down. Even when it's flat, it's still going somewhere. And so as you can see, Bitcoin is breaking above this little green line. This is the 50-day moving average. So over the last 50 days, this is the average price that the, um, the asset is at. And as you can see, we've broken above that. Will we maintain above it? Will we break above to, to maybe go to 9,000, which is what some people are talking about today, or will we break down and test these levels? So these two little levels right here, these are actually buy orders I have in right now. It's uh, 5,700 and 4,700. So me personally, with everything going on with the whole, you know, Cerveza, virus and all that sort of weird stuff going on right now. Um, I think that there's a better chance that we're going to go down in the next couple months than we are going to go up. Okay. Jumping into the news. Let's see what we got. Former backed CEO appointed to Trump task force. So this is a pretty interesting ongoing uh, story. So the former CEO of the intercontinental exchange subsidiary backed so the uh, Intercontinental Exchange is the company that owns the New York Stock Exchange. And the Inter Intercontinental Exchange last year launched BACT, which is a cryptocurrency custodial uh, company. So you'd have to kind of think, you know, if a, you know, a huge company that owns the New York Stock Exchange if they're setting up a crypto exchange or a custodial service, they've probably done a little bit more research than you and your Uncle Larry. Okay. And so, uh, yeah, very interesting. So this ex, the former CEO, this woman right here, Kelly Loeffler, has been rewarded with a new appointment despite recent controversies because she actually sold off a bunch of stock right before this whole uh, virus, you know, anomaly thing happened. So very interesting stuff right there now. And now she's being appointed. So obviously she's very pro crypto. And isn't it very curious that now she's being put in place as the person that's uh, opening back up the economy. So we'll see what happens there, right? I wonder how I like I can get, oh, no, one's, no one's commenting anyway. No one freaking cares. Just joking. All right. 10 things every blockchain coin market cap traffic from women and young adults on the rise. Nice. Retail banks in Poland launch. So that's what we do on this show. You know, you just sit back and have coffee with me while you get to listen to my beautiful voice, read the news to you. And I answer your questions. Binance Chain releases white paper for a smart contract to enable blockchain. All right, nothing that's just mind-blowing today. Moving on, Ethereum, same thing. We broke above that 50-day moving average today, or yesterday, excuse me. We're still maintaining it above, but now, as you can see, there's this little red line. That's a 100-day moving average. Now we're fighting to get above that. All right. Circle CEO claims explosive stablecoin demand from everyday businesses. Russian troll government. All right, rounding out the top three cryptos. XRP, same thing. We got above that uh, 50 day. Will we be able to continue the upward momentum or will we lose steam and fall back down to these lower numbers? 
I got some cash on the sideline. So to be honest, I hope it kind of falls down a little bit so I can buy some more up. XRP news. Nothing too mind blowing today. Again. And oh, dang, dang, Gina. Dow Jones, the Dow Jones, the stock market. Here's where you're going to maybe hear me go on a little bit of a rant. So, we've Dow Jones stock market's really been struggling to break out of that big, even number of 24,000. Here's the biggest thing I'm always going to talk about this is the scam. This is the con right here. People tell, you know, one of the big objections I always hear from people is, you know, Bitcoin's not backed by anything. Well, Bitcoin is backed by the strongest network uh, that man has ever known. Whereas this, this is really the scam. I mean, this is backed by nothing. You've got a central bank, the Federal Reserve, printing trillions of dollars and then pumping it into this market to make it seem like it's okay. Because the average American's broke. The average American, I mean, over 70% of Americans don't even have $500 in cash to handle an emergency. So they're not investing. Average people are not investing in the stock market. So this is a terrible barometer of the economy. Okay, moving on to the new CNBC. Coronavirus live update, San Sanofi says it can mass produce vaccine if it works. Cases in Russia jump. Dow rallies 500 points on hope for an effective corona. See, again, I mean, really what's causing this to go up are big banks and financial institutions trading against each other. We're talking multi, multi-billion dollar companies trading and gambling back and forth. This is not... You know, there are very few people, and the people that do have Scott Trade, E Trade, uh, TD Ameritrade accounts where they're managing their own funds, that's, a, that's such a small little drop in the bucket compared to, you know, BlackRock, Fidelity, all these multi trillion dollar companies that are in the market with high algorithmic trading and so on and so forth. Oil, oil, oh, making new lows making new lows very we this is going to be look at this would you man oil a technology of the past we are literally watching a technology of the past dissolve and go away and new technologies on the cusp of mass adoption like bitcoin crypto gold Gold falling down from its recent highs. We were breaking out of the $1,700 range, and now we're breaking down just a little bit more. Uh, again, I got my start in gold and silver. I'm a big gold advocate for gold and silver. And moving on to silver, still, man, just having a real hard time getting above that moving average. But a long term, I mean, I would definitely be buying some silver. And speaking of gold and silver, Mike Maloney, that I first read this book in 2007. I mean, this completely changed my life because it, it caused me to understand how the game of money really works. You know, Henry Ford said it best, you know, if the American people knew how the money system really worked, there'd be riot, there'd be a revolution tomorrow because you're getting ripped off. The government is ripping you off. They are robbing you. They're taking advantage of you. I mean, this is, to me, I mean, I'm not, I don't, this isn't a political show because I think they're both crooks on both sides. They are crooks. But that being said, go get a copy of this book. It's totally free. Go to pages. I, I mean, I'll actually link the description. I, all the links are in the YouTube description. So uh, track the video down to YouTube or I'll just put the links uh, in the comment section, but go get the book, you know, it's totally free. And if you have an Audible account, you can also, it's a, uh, an audio version too, Mike reads it to you, a phenomenal, phenomenal book. It will literally open your eyes to the, the real Ponzi scheme going on, and that is the US dollar. That is the US dollar, that is the US financial system. It is a scam, it's a con game. They've gained your confidence mostly by force, mostly by duress, mostly by fear, like what they're doing right now, create panic and fear. 
And then the people will just willingly lay over and give their freedoms and liberties to you. Gasoline is selling for 12 cents a gallon and nobody wants it. I would take some of that 12 cent gas. Mountain of cash swells to 4.5 trillion as investors rush to safety. So another, I, I have, I, I, I'd have to find it, but I've recently read a couple news articles talking about most people getting their $1,200 stimulus checks. They're buying food. They're buying food. They're buying supplies. Uh, they're paying bills. They're not investing that money. They're not going out and having a good time. As we've seen what happens when, when humans really get into the state of panic, you go buy a lot of toilet paper. That's irrational. That's what they want. They want you to be irrational. All right. And then finally, Market Watch. Let's see if they got anything good for us today. Panda Watch. If you've seen Anchor Man, <laughs> he warned of coronavirus crisis months ago. And now says gut points to 50% stock market descent from February peaks. Here's a good story for you. This guy right here, what's his name? This is a perfect environment for gold to take center stage, says Paul Singer's Elliott Management in a client letter. That's Paul Singer's Elliott Management offering a relatively dire warning in a recent letter to his clients. The billionaire hedge fund manager and activist investor whose net worth is $3.5 billion, according to Forbes, said that America could be facing the deepest recession since the Great Depression. Reuters reported that the activist investor who manages some $40.4 billion issued a Wednesday letter to investors that offered a grim outlook for the economy and recommended purchasing gold, even as a number of countries attempt to lift strict stay-at-home measures intended to slow down the spread of COVID-19, the disease derived from the novel strain of coronavirus that was first identified in Wuhan, China in December. I'm not going to read the whole article, go to New Market Watch yourself. But again, um, if we look here, where, what does the trend tell us? The long-term trend, look at that. I mean, that's a massive sell-off. Yeah, there might be a recovery, but we might come way back down again. And I'm not here to give financial advice, do your own research, do your own due diligence. I'm just a crazy guy on the internet that's really bored during my own um, Oh, here we go. We do have some. I do do one-on-one, -on -one, Sheila. What's up, Sheila? Dang, girl, it's been a long time. I do do one-on-one. -on -one. Go to my website, galactictrust.com. Here, right here, just go here. And then, uh, yeah, you can, uh, right here, just learn more, set up an appointment. Yeah, I'd be more than happy to help you out. Cody, do I think that crypto is a similar refuge for wealth safety, similar to precious metals? Absolutely, I do. Again, my background is in precious metals, and I love precious metals, but the thing about it is, let's say, let's say you have 10,000 ounces of silver. That's a lot of silver. Very, very heavy. And let's say I want to go to Mexico. Okay, let's say I want to get out of Dodge. I want to move. Man, it's going to be hard to move that type of weight. Whereas I can have, literally, I could have a billion dollars on a smartphone in a crypto wallet and nobody knows about it except for me and those I share that information with. So I can take it anywhere. In fact, I don't even need it on my phone. I could just have private keys on a piece of paper. So this is the future. This is evolution taking place. Okay, one system's dying off, another one is emerging and evolving, and that's all we're seeing here. And we're seeing, go back to this other page, we're seeing that these old, the old guard is dying. Look at this, oil just tanking, tanking. Okay, in my opinion, I believe that equities are tanking. And if you go watch my presentation on my website, just go here, just click on this link, 1K to 1M. Watch this presentation for free. I'm going to lay it out. I would say within five years, Apple will have its own coin. Amazon will have its own coin. Walmart will have its own coin because they're already researching it. So in the future, 
If you want to buy a new iPhone, you have to use the, the Apple coin. You have to use Amazon coin to shop on their website. These are already, more, these are trillion dollar economies. Apple is an economy in and of itself. Amazon is an economy in and of itself. So why wouldn't they have their own uh, currency or means of, um, means of commerce or means of trade? Man, can you imagine how much Amazon spends every year in chargeback fees, in merchant processing fees, whereas with cryptocurrency, there is no chargebacks. You cannot charge back on a transaction and the fees are next to nothing. So of course, companies like that are going to get into the game. Why wouldn't you? Okay. And the last thing I want to talk with you guys about today and uh, I, again, this is my first live. I have a lot of other, I make this, this, uh, this, I do this show every morning. And before today, I would just record them and then just put them on my YouTube library. So you can go check it out. Um, but this is a program that I've been um, testing for the last couple of weeks. It's called the Mirror Trading International. Um, this is in a crypto investing pool. So everybody's pulled their crypto together. Then on the back end, they're doing trading and then they're paying out the daily profits back to the members. So two weeks ago, I deposited 0 0.024 Bitcoin into this wallet. And since then, I have accumulated 124,000 Satoshi. <laughs> now, for many of you that are watching this for the first time and that are new to crypto, a Satoshi is the equivalent of $1. So one Satoshi, $1. There's 100 $1 bills in a $100 bill. There are 999 million Satoshi in a Bitcoin or 100 million Satoshi equal one Bitcoin. Okay. So right now is the time to be investing when these assets are undervalued, undervalued. And Mike Maloney, that's where I learned about this was from Mike's book, is all assets go through cycles of undervalue, overvalue, undervalue, overvalue. So I look at all the different asset classes. Let's look at real estate, okay? Real estate, in my opinion, way overvalued. I would not touch real estate with a 10-foot pole. Whereas in five years, when it's super undervalued because the market crashes again, that's when you want to invest. So when everybody's saying, because again, I've been, I rode the wave of Bitcoin in 2017. I've rode the crash over the last couple of years. To me, it's not a crash. It's just a cycle of overvalue, undervalue. So right now it's very undervalued. Let's look at like the weekly chart. Okay. Very over, we had the high of 20,000. And right now we're sitting at 7,000. We were sitting at 3,000. So you want to buy when everybody's saying, oh, it's a scam. This is junk. You know, all these Facebook people that, you know, they're, they ain't got $500 to their name, but they sure do know everything when it comes to investing. Okay. And they're saying, oh, it's junk. It's a scam. It's not backed by anything. The government's going to shut it down, all this different stuff. But again, you're what? What? Oh, then come out and go potty. I told my son he has to stay in his room until I'm done with <laughs> this show. Oh, my gosh. See, this is the kind of show that we're doing today. This is the kind of show we do around here, you know, just lighthearted. You know, we like to have a lot of fun around here because making money is fun. You know, investing is fun unless it's not like the last couple of years. It hasn't been. But anyways, you know, I digress on this first show of mine. But if you want to learn more about, uh, you know, mirror trading, totally passive. So I invested the, that 0 0.024 Bitcoin two weeks ago. It's now up to 0 0.030. And I haven't done a single thing. All I do is check in every day and make these videos. If I go to my, to my uh, report right here, you can see every day I started on uh, the 6th of April. Okay. I got a quarter percent that day almost half a percent, almost six tenths of a percent, another six tenths of a percent, uh, uh, geez, a tenth of a percent every single day, every single day. So again, um, uh, you know, uh, do your own research. This is my disclosure or disclaimer. 
one of my business partners is my lawyer. And so, you know, hey, I'm just a guy on the internet that's bored. I'm just hanging out in, you know, in the freaking universe, trying to help other people, sitting on my freaking soapbox, you know, answering questions, trying to help people out. Okay. But anyways, let's see if we have any more questions, comments, concerns. Let's see what, what if anybody, nobody's even watching it on the, nobody's even watching, whatever. Whatever, it's my first time. So we're gonna, every day, Monday through Friday, probably gonna be 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, which would be 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to check us out Monday through Friday. If you have any questions, hit me up, Facebook, Instagram. You, I'm, I'm on everything. You can get a hold of me. Be sure again, grab a copy of my free ebook at CryptoInvestorSecrets.com. Also check out my website, galactictrust.com. Go watch my free webinar class where I'm going to lay out, eh, I'm going to lay out my thesis because I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to leave you with this unless anybody has anything else they want to ask. Okay. If you would have invested a thousand dollars into Apple back in 1984, most of you probably weren't born in 1984, but if you, you know, if your parents were wise enough to invest a thousand dollars into Apple back in 1984, that thousand dollars would be worth over six million dollars today, just by setting it and forgetting it. I'm on TV, dude. A thousand dollar investment into Microsoft in 1986. Get this, $1,000, set it and forget it, worth over $14 million at its all-time high last year. You better not come down those stairs. I'm, making, I'm on TV. Jeez. I'm serious, dog. Oh, my gosh. I can't even get any work done around here. It's like there's, there's that, there was a, a video a while ago about some dude that was actually like on CNBC and his kids are freaking busting in there. Anyways, okay. And again, my last example is Amazon. $1,000 investment into Amazon in 1997 would be worth over $6 million today. So it's not get rich quick. It's just having the foresight to see the newest. Th this is the next technology. This is the next internet. This is the next iPhone. This is the next Apple computer back in the 80s or uh, early 80s, whenever the first Apple computer was. It's having the foresight to see the trends that are happening. Okay. Uh, actually, this is the last thing I'm going to leave you with. Then I promise I'm out of here. Okay a drug addict, like let's say uh, crack cocaine, okay? A drug addict can't see beyond their next high, okay? They're so, they just gotta get that next high. They're not thinking about anything. They're, they're, they can't forward project into the future more than their next high. Well, the average American can't see beyond their next paycheck. So they can't really look a year down the road two years down the road, five years down the road, a hundred years down the road, because there's two stuck in where they're at and what they got to deal with right now. And I understand, I empathize with people when it comes to that, but that's why I'm here. And that's why I've created all this stuff is to try to help you understand and navigate this emerging asset class. Because again, you have a very unique opportunity. I think this is the greatest opportunity in human history. It's not a get rich quick scheme. It's going to take time. It could be a lot of stress involved in it. Lord knows I've, I've wanted to jump out of a window at times, but I've, my faith has never waned and it's only grown over the last three years. And my mission is to help you have that same sort of faith. So Thanks so much for joining me on this inaugural, inaugural uh, live stream. I very much appreciate you. Again, if there's anything I can do, drop me a, a message in Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. Actually, I don't ever get on Instagram, um, so don't try to find me there. YouTube, 
YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn. That's all I do. And I, but anyways, I hope you have a phenomenal Friday out there in uh, the apocalypse. Uh, things are super crazy right now. Hope you have a great day. And if I don't see you sooner, I will see you at another time. Peace out.